Hey guys, how's it going? So Runway's image to video went live yesterday and I just want to try it out with a few of the product images that I generate using DALI 3 and some of the images of people to see how really good the image to video is right now for Runway. So I got an email. I can't find the email right now, but what I can do right now is I can go to their website and I can actually upload an image here by selecting Gen 3 Alpha. By the way, this is a paid model. So I went ahead and bought the subscription so that I can show you guys how it looks. You can select Gen 3 Alpha here and initially you only had the option to add the prompt here, but now you can actually upload images. I'm going to go to DALI 3 or Bing Image Creator and I'm going to generate an image of scented candle with the scent of a chili, right? Seems contradictory, but I just wanted to do it for fun. The inspiration is obviously this Alexica prompt where that generated a cream that is uh, that has the essence of the rice, right? So I, I went ahead and I took the candle and I added this spiced it up by adding the chili flavor. So I'll take one of these images. This one seems good. And I'm going to go ahead and download this one. The download is done. Now I'm going to go to Gen 3 Alpha and I'm going to be uploading this image. So the image is being uploaded. Now, obviously I've used Gen 2 Alpha. It's not very good, but the generations done by Gen 2 Alpha are fine for the initial set of use cases where you just want to, you know, for example, you want to generate some basic videos that don't necessarily signify ads. It's fine. But for advanced use cases, you can't can't really use those videos to do anything. But when Gen 3 Alpha came out, the video generation from text was really, really good. So I want to see if that is also done for videos now at this point of time. So anyways, I, it seems I can't take the entire image. So I'm going to be selecting the important part of the image, which is this much. And I'm going to be cropping this. I wish I knew the aspect ratio up front. So I might have, you know, modified my prompt in order to fit that aspect ratio. Anyway, so this is the image and I'm going to say, again, this is optional, something that you can skip if you want, but let's see if we can add movement to flare, zoom out slowly, chili flakes moving again there's an entire guide on how to write prompts for the video generation here because it's actually very expensive every second of video generation costs you 10 credits and you can see i have around uh, 1000 credits so i can do 100 seconds worth of generation at this point of time based on the plan that i have on runway here it costs i think around 15 dollar anyway so this is um the very basic prompt i'll add and then in settings you can actually go ahead and add a seed if you like so if there is there is a specific generation in the past that you like you can actually uh, add that seed number and the generation will be more aligned uh, in that manner so anyways i'm going to go to custom presets and see if there's anything i can do here but not much right so then since i have the image here and the prompt ready i'm just going to go ahead and click on generate Again, this is just one of the product images. What I'm going to be also trying to do is I'm going to try and take the image of a person and I'm going to feed that on uh, Gen 3 model to see what kind of animation you can add to the real portraits at this point of time. So while this is generated, I'm going to go to Lexica and I'm going to look for some inspiration. Lexica Art is a great platform, by the way, for getting inspiration or prompts for generating certain images. Again, these were generated using different models like Stable Diffusion or Lexica's own models like Arpeacher and so on. I think this is also something we should try. We should take an image of a scenic view like this and let's see if we can go ahead and animate this. I'm also going to be trying this image. This seems very good. So I already have two images now and I'm going to see if there is anything else I should try as well because we have the uh, image of the real estate. We have the pho product photography and we also have a person. Uh, it's, you know, I, I think we can also try flowers here and I'm, you know, going to be skipping adding prompts to uh, the image because you don't necessarily need it. It's optional. It's going to anyways, go ahead and animate the image itself, right? So I have overall four images at this point and I'm going to see if there's something else I want to also try before I check if the generation is done. So this seems like a good example. So if you're working in animation space, you want to see if you can animate certain images and so on. So anyways, I think this is good sample set to try out the model itself. Good thing about runway is you can actually generate uh, different videos as the current video is being generated, right? So there's, you can run multiple generations as the current generation is happening. Anyways, so let's go ahead and play this and it's weird. It seems runway is experiencing a service disruption. Very interesting. Anyway, so this is what it did to the image. I think it's not bad. It's kind of done some sort of out painting where it's added certain flakes of chili per se, which is something that I had added in the prompt. And it's slowly zooming out and giving this 
you know nice oh by the way if you um look very closely the flame is actually moving which is something i wanted to see in the image the fact that it's able to do this is insane because this is very important part of the generation itself and you can see the actual consistency of the image is not tampered as such right so i love it the this generation looks very good which basically means if you have static images, you can use runway in order to animate those images. Let's try one more uh, from the samples that we had actually downloaded a few seconds back. This is something that I want to try again, thinking what kind of animation we want to add in this image. I'm going to say monster running through the forest looking for his house. Again, you can notice that there is like a service disruption right now. So I don't know if I'll be able to continue the video, but you can see there is a major outage here uh, by clicking on the button here you can actually come to the status.runwayml.com and there seems to be a major outage which just started a minute back so <laughs> it's really weird i just started recording this video and i wished this did not happen but anyways let's continue trying our generations and hope that this does not stop i'm going to upload another image right now uh, this was the image of the flower that we had downloaded again we'll have to crop it and see if there is some sort of animation we want to add in the image itself it seems to be working here it seems the progress is being so I'm hoping that it will continue running and not really, you know, stop the generation itself. But let's see, going to start a few generations anyways and hope for the best, right? Again, I'm not doing a very great job writing the prompts correctly here, but I just want to basically see the flower moving because of the wind. I should have mentioned wind, I think. Is the generation started? Yes. So never mind. Let's see what we get, right? And let's try one more. I think two more. This was one of the other images we downloaded. I don't even remember what the image was. I think this was the person. Yeah, I think this was the mage. Yep, it was the mage. And it seems I can't crop the whole thing. So I'm just gonna take this part and I'm gonna say zoom out and then I want some animation on the orb. Zoom out animation on the orb. Absorbing lightning. It seems the downtime is gone. The message from here has disappeared. Anyways, let's click on generate and let's also, you know, queue our final generation and then we'll look at the videos that are generated. So let's go ahead and click here and then drag the final image of the flat. So this was the image where we had cropped the flat itself, or I think this was one of the real estate images that we wanted to see if we can animate using AI. All right. So this is the part I want to crop and I'm going to say something like 360 degree tour of the flat 360 or oh not 360 won't be possible. Slow zoom out of the flat show mountains and Anyways, so let's go ahead and put this prompt and let's take a look at the generations that are completed now. I think this should be queued as well. There you go. So this generation is complete. This is prompt was monster running through the forest. So let's see. Let's take a look at it now. Um, It's not too bad. Honestly, it looks very, very good. The face consistency is great. The monster seems to be really running through the forest, which is something that I had expected to generate in the image. Now, the question is, can I use this for uh, short movies? Yes, you can. I mean, look at the motion is very, very clean. It's obviously not perfect because the leg movement seems to be messed up, but it's not too bad. There is an extra hand popping out of the back here, but... Again, like I said, it's not too bad. You can use this for short movies in case you are an animator per se, right? So very, very good generation. I'm actually very impressed by the generation itself. So you can now take images that are static and animate those images by keeping the consistency of the image. I'm actually going, you know, hoping to try if I can upload my own image and add some sort of animation to the image itself. Let's try that post looking at the current set of generations. Let's play this one. The prompt was wind blowing the flower and leaves Let's see if the uh, video is well done here wow actually very good the only problem is this thing moving here which is something that i wasn't expecting and this is way better than what i had expected it to generate right so really really good and i'm very 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 impressed by the generation to be honest it looks very natural the model also knows not to mess up the background obviously if there was some moment in the background for leaves and you can see this very slight moment here the entire image would have been very very impressive right but to be honest i am impressed based on what i see right now it was just a static image but the consistency even though the image is complex is very very good now let's take a look at this one where i'm trying to slowly zoom out and the orb has some sort of animation to it okay this is weird i expected to see the face of the wizard but it seems that there is the entire focus is on the orb which is throwing out some sort of lighting obviously this is not as good as the animations that we saw earlier and again this does not do justice to the face of the person test so i'm going to be uploading my own face to see if i can add some sort of animation to that 
interface so again the generation is not too bad it's just that it's um you know isolated the whole orb and what i was kind of expecting is slow zoom out but then again my prompt may be wrong uh, and this is how the model may have interpreted it finally let's take a look at this generation and this one is the real estate one where i wanted to slow zoom out and it seems that it has done justice obviously the mountains don't look perfect but the zoom out is very cool i mean it, i don't know why they added why the model added an extra pool um but it's zooming out and showing the scenic views around the property itself and the alignment is not too bad to be honest obviously it's not natural if you look at the right side here you will notice that these walls don't look as natural but and the trees too don't look as natural but the generation is not too bad overall i mean you can use it for small level use cases where you want to generate short videos and so on and so forth so that's for those sort of use cases this is very good and all the generation this one is my favorite this one too is my favorite and this one is also not too bad like the attention to the fact that i wanted to add some moment on the fire here which is insanely good right anyway so one more thing we want to do here is upload my own image and see if i can create a timeline of me going from my current age to old age and so on and so forth but some I'm going to use my usual image here. Uh, I'm going to show my face and I'm going to say from young to midlife to cyborg. Let's see how the generation looks like. I mean, if you watch my YouTube videos, uh, you would know that I've been aging as I create these videos. So if you look at my initial videos, I might look younger. Obviously, I was younger. <laughs> and if you look at my videos now, I might look a bit older. Anyway, so that reminds me, if you're new to this channel, I'd love for you to be a part of this community. I create videos on AI for use cases that I find are relevant for me and i think it also kind of applies to some of the folks who are looking to learn and stay up to date with ai so if you're interested in that sort of content i'd want and be happy to for you to be a part of the community please subscribe to the channel and engage with people in the community we'd be more than happy to engage with you and also kind of help you solve the problems that you have in mind at this point of time and also help you solve the problems that you may have as you and I, we both kind of try to adapt AI in our day-to-day -day work. Either way, it looks like the generation is almost done. It's a 52% here and we should be done in the next couple of seconds. And you can see I've almost exhausted my entire runway credit here. For the, some of the free credits that I have left now or some of the credits that I have left now, I'm going to be using it to generate some of the videos for our own products that we have in here and see if we can actually use those videos for listing those products on you know places like Amazon or doing some social media marketing on those images per se so like i said i've explored all the use cases that you can potentially think of in this scenario if you're an animator if you are creating products if you are a real estate agent if you are just a person who wants to animate the picture of other folks then you know i've kind of explored those use cases but based on what i think it's great for things that don't exist so monsters or flowers that are that look non-real so it's great for those use cases right anyway so let's take a look at this video it says from young to midlife to cyborg and i'm gonna see how it looks oh wow <laughs> did not see that coming so it did age the person uh from uh, what the current age is to something else and then it's kind of bluish i think it was trying to turn it to cyborg but i don't think this is a great generation right so i i would have loved if the generation was just making changes to my faces but you know just making changes to the face itself but that didn't it didn't do that the great part is that it did animate the waterfall behind me and uh, yeah i think while it's good for certain use cases and not great for use cases where things actually exist right so you can see all the use cases that we did like like somewhat this one or this one or this one these use cases don't really exist in real life and the generations were good for that but if there are use cases that exist in real life it's not going to do justice to it right and the reason is simple right in real life you actually see things so you know how they will look or you expect things to look in a certain way versus when you have not seen certain things you don't have any expectation with respect to how these things will actually look uh, in real life whatever you see on the screen you do kind of like and you go with it right so it's not great for things that exist right but it's great for things that don't exist and it's the same for all the video generate video generators right now including sora you know we're almost reaching the end of the year but it's not yet out so like i said we i'll keep you guys posted on and anything comes out in ai and thank you so much for going through the video itself i hope you learned something very interesting that you can actually implement in your day-to-day -day work and i'll see you guys in the next one